Hi up guys, how are you all doing? We're back out again to um, that new campsite uh, not too far from where we live. We've um, fetched hammocks now, we're going to put hammocks up in this wood behind and me and Shell's going to sleep in hammocks tonight. I ain't slept in one for about, it must be five years, four or five years. And Michelle's never slept in one, so that could be a laugh. <laughs> uh, we're going to put, I'll put, I've got some chem lights, put one of them on for her all night. We're going to try and join two types together. I've got my old tarp with doors. Most of my old subscribers will remember that. One of the best tarps I've ever had. I've still got it. It's about had it like, but it's, it's, I've still got it. And I've uh, just bought a new DD4 before multicam. So we're going to put it up in these woods in a bit. Uh, and get Michelle's hammock up with bug net on and I'm not going to bother with bug net I prefer to sleep without bug net like but I'm going to make up like John Merrick in the morning but uh, uh, he's just figuring out how to get these trees now for his hammocks because it's, I don't think there's any two close together uh, so we can join like both have both hammocks like on one tree and onto other two trees but we'll see have a look in a bit we're all uh, all set up I don't know if you can see it's the wrong way around to be fair this but I've just had some noodles and a coffee. Uh, looks like I've been on safari, fetch that much stuff. But uh, Michelle's here with our Frank, look. So, our Frank's having five minutes with his mum. But yeah, there's nobody else in the field that you can see. All the way around, there's nobody else just does it. You can hear planes like it's on it pain, but there you go, it's not bad. And that's about it, it's all. I said it's not at all, look. apart from doing with for a PO there. There's nobody else in the field at all. Just does. Nobody in the woods at Baccarat. Spot on. Dry as bone. Grass, I thought it might have been a bit damp, but it's. Oh, yeah. Nettles. On this wall, then. <laughs> Nettles on ground. Just nettle me. Antle. That's a bit of a bugger, isn't it? <laughs> I <laughs> said something else then. <laughs> and uh, I'm spiky little nettles here, pain totally. So, ah, so that's about it. We've had a brew and all that. And there's no, there's like I said, we're going to have some burgers later on. Fetched old Trangia 25 out and get out a run today. I've got my old Swedish mess kit. Got that. I've got BCB Crusader. We've got all. Oh, we've got loads of stoves today to fetch out. Pathfinder one. I've got. All right. Just keep testing a few out. Bring them out of mothballs. So and uh, uh, that's about it, guys. Really, for the moment. That's kettle. That I've been using. I've used that for ages. On this Trangia. It's that GSI stainless steel one. As you can see, it's been on fire loads of times. Like. One of the best kettles I've ever seen. That's nice, brilliant, cracking kettle. And it all fits together in, uh, in 25 instead of uh, aluminium or aluminium for all you in America. Uh, uh, ah, so that's about it, really. For the moment in time, we're going to crack on and get, I forgot my tripod, I'm going to get this hammer cup and that and, uh, and get them sorted all out, get them level and get tarps up and that. So, right, we'll catch you all in a bit. Right guys, we've got set up ish. Uh, I've still got this one wind, and Michelle's got old tenth wonder. But got bug net on. I don't like bug net on to be fair. So Michelle's got bug net. Look at this on about a bug in a rug. <laughs> got her old pillar from home. Just like a, a, it has a quilt over it, it's not cold, it's ever so warm. Is that and straight at the bottom? It's, well, it's down to your feet where it's not running much further than that. And there, uh, we can always pull it down in a bit, anyhow, loosen it off. Under quilt underneath it, snug pack under quilt. I've got off Johnny Dunk. That's mine over there. I'm going to set it all up and work out how to put this tarp up now. I've got a 4 before tarp and a tarp with doors, so we'll sort it all out anyhow. Get it all done somehow, so. Bug in the rug. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll bring you all back when we set up, guys. Right, guys, we finally set up. It took hours 
me not being used to it and having to go around trees and just improvise best way we can to be fair like I've got watch out shall I put my shells put that new four before hopefully my shell I've got more rope up here than what did go out doors has got I've had to put my old tarp with doors up like that. I could have put it to the floor at far side, but I'll put it up like that, a bit of fresh air through and that lot. So, it, uh, uh, could, I could peg it out later on, see, see how I feel. But we're all covered in, there's no problem getting wetter out like that. But. So, that's it. It's now tea time, thank God. We have five minutes now. Right guys, catch you in a bit. Good morning guys. Just woke up, it sounded like digger this, digger that pond now. It's ten past eight. Oh, it's not like a log in here. Only had one peel like, not that you wanted to know that like, but it's a bit breezy this morning. Michelle's still asleep. She loves it. Absolutely loves it. said this one wind hammock I've not just seen it it's absolutely brilliant for us bigger lads it's fantastic get room I've got, I've got loads and loads of room got a bit being mozzy there look absolutely awesome these brilliant hammock Rab 900 on I don't pillar, I don't know what pillar it is. I think it's a... Uh, what do you call them? Oh, I can't remember now what they call them. They're good, good as like inflatable mats, what they call them, but I can't remember. I don't know, I forget what they call them. Um, Exped, Exped pillar, that's what it is, Exped. Good. I've got my old tight windows. <laughs> Not at first and say, but I've uh, been a brilliant tight lad. Obviously, like I said, we had set it up right because the trees you got. Trees roll up place on this little bit, you can't get set up properly. But he's still is alright. I want to get up and put kettle, I think. So, that should all in a bit. Alright, guys, Just, we've all got out of Well, I've got out of my pit, my shell's still in there, so I'll take it into camp now. Look. A bit with promise that we couldn't get any other way. With these tarps up and that lot, uh, wind's blowing straight into camp. But I've improvised a little bit and put this poncho up, what I've got, which does cut wind down a good 80%. So it's, it works pretty well. Obviously, with all these trees in the middle and all other sides, you can't get a perfect setup. But there you go, you make the best of what you've got. I'll just take you into camp now. The ladyship's still laid in the pit, look. <laughs> but we slept really well last night. I mean, we were spot on. Michelle even enjoyed it, so that's a good thing. If you, usually, if you sleep rubbish first night, that uh, um, it, you, it puts you off it altogether. But you were warm all night. Uh, apart from your legs ached a little bit, didn't they? Yeah, I got a little cramp. Yeah, a bit of cramping legs, so 
I think tonight I've put a pillar under her knees. Well, I get so, that anyway, don't I? Yeah, you don't get cramp a lot, yeah. Pillar under your knees and uh, hold your legs up a little bit. You know what I mean? It'll be a lot better. Fetched our Frankie in and Dougie this morning. Dougie just jumped straight in now. He's into it big time now, so. We're all right, we've just got a brew on. Coffee and old Transier 25. But it's all right, it's great. Love it. It's just nice to get back out into Amex, to be honest. It feels like you're camping again. Oh, you're camping in a van, but it's not the same as being in an hammock and under all tarps and that and listening to birds and wind rustling and things like that. But uh, I'm not saying it's forever this, right? but we should be going back to the van. But, but it's uh, it's great. It really is great to have a change. Love it. So we've got on it noisy things. Is at half past six, they walk us up with um digging this another pond out but it's not not near on but wind's blowing this way so it's a bit noisy first off but anyhow can't help that that's the new tap dd4 before multicam which i like spot on we've got more ropes than jodrell bank but anyhow that's it thing i'll tell you what that one wind hammock and under quilt is absolutely out of this world to be honest and I'm not just saying it, but it is really out in this world. It's, I've had all, you know, as you know, all you've seen my videos before, I've had all top range uh, hammocks and under quilts and that. That under quilt, that's that snug pack one, which is awesome. They are, they are the, one of the best I've ever seen. Uh, but that one wind, it would be that big, well, it's five, I was 500 pound. It's absolutely brilliant. You can get in it and it's, you don't move at all. Uh, obviously before it's different things you were kept worrying about your weight and things like that I've never even worried about it at all absolutely perfect and it, it just holds you and it's, it's really nice and that under quilt summer also oh, it's fantastic under quilt I love it only thing I don't like about the one wind hammock is that I'm still ridge line I've took it off because when you when you get it in even if you have it loose and you get in it it either makes it too bores too much it middle or oh, it's too tight and then you can't get out well i struggle my size to get out anyhow right? but it's, it, it goes too tight so i put my own ridge line up on top and that's that seems to have done it it was spot on that's the only only complaint i've got about it is that, that i'm still ridge line so if that's all i've got a complaint which is just unclips anyhow so it's, it's simple so right guys i'll catch you all later on for all time well it'll be when it boils so see you in a bit that guy's bringing you back just gonna get us tea on now with some Huntle Ben's spicy rice here, whatever it is, and what's under that plate? What is it? Chicken. chicken. I know it's chicken, what do they call it? Chicken, whatever it is. Chicken. chicken summer. And then we've got some other chicken, whatever it is, down here. Chicken Latino. And all, I just stay Michelle's hammer cup a little bit. About six inches, so she's perfectly level now. Well, feet slightly higher, which is something slipping down. Dogs is all right, they've had a good day. And they're uh, all about ready. He's going to start barking at somebody now. We've got the field next door, they've been planting next field, so. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to have a tea. And then pack up tomorrow morning and get off. I've got to get back for dinner time, so. Really enjoy it, it's been good, hasn't it? Been spotted. Really good. Yeah. Better than I thought. It is. I so she, didn't, she didn't think it was going to be that good, did you? I thought no. you were going to be cold and uncomfortable, but... And no night creatures. No, no night creatures. <laughs> she slept like a log and woke up outside at fire. Well, she didn't go to sleep, though, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Long, it's been spot on. Really enjoyed it, so this will not be the last hammock video you see now. We'll be at it for a bit now. It's keep going. Obviously not winter time without Michelle, it won't be anyhow, so... Get up, new up, Baz are up and running. I'm going to go and fetch Key again. Try this yesterday, and he still weren't in, so I'm going to get Key off and leave him a note next time and uh, and get Key. So, right, I'll catch you all in a bit. Good morning, guys. It's uh, ten past eight. We've just, well, be wait ten minutes for you, Michelle. We'll just be late talking here. That's his view from here, look. I think chair, but <laughs> Michelle's just said that she's really enjoyed it, so that's good. Told I went camping. Spot on. 
I've enjoyed it, it's been good. So we've got to pack up today, I've got an appointment at dinner time, so we've got to pack up this morning and go back home. Uh, and then, I don't know when we shall be out next, I think it's, is it September, Shell? September to the coast. Yeah, September to the coast. And then, uh, I know we have another Vikings weekend down here. Woodall. Uh, and that's it, I think. Oh, apart from all the camps, we'll probably come down to this place, like this new place, it's spot on. And do hammocks again, like good hammocks. Proper camping, this is. So. Right, I will catch you all in a little while. Right, guys, that's it. We're uh, packing up now and heading back home. And Michelle's, what do you reckon to our making, Michelle? I love it. I was a bit sceptical at first because I thought I was either going to fall out or not be comfortable. But after a few tweaks on the second night, um, it was the best night ever. She usually gets at home, even though we've got a really expensive mattress, what we bought. Uh, it costs us all a thousand quid for mattress. And uh, she does get cramp. I hell of a lot of cramp at night time. She drinks water all day long, so it's not to do with drinking. She gets cramp and she gets bad acid. In that hammock, she's had no cramp and no acid. You know what I mean? And I use it, I get, I get back it, no matter where I sleep, I get back it. But in an hammock, I never get back it. So you would definitely come out again in the hammock. Oh, God, yeah, therefore. So Obviously, not in the freezer cold weather. No. no. But um, yeah, I definitely do this again. Yeah. Okay. And I've never, ever camped before, ever. No, she's never camped before in her life. And, she and if somebody it. said for me to do this, I would have just laughed. Yeah. But, um, you have to have the right stuff though. You have to have proper gear, definitely, yeah. Like that, that, that tarp's a game, game changer for you and all, isn't it? You like it down that size, don't you? And yeah. That, like, and everything. The dogs are really lovely, they've enjoyed it. They have, they've been in van at night time, like, but fetch them out and they jump straight in my shells in the morning, pairing them. But, uh, yeah, but we put a bug net on because obviously it's absolutely loads and loads of mozzies. I've got a bit like Dr. Dot me this morning. But uh, Michelle's been fine, she never get no bites or not like that. And it fastens underneath, that's off me one wind damn it, that is. And it like draw cord underneath uh, and it all cinches up so she's covered. Cinch ends in on it and that, and it's been spot on. She's fetched her own pillar from home that she's had um, a sleeping bag, one tiger sleeping bag, down bag, and a one tiger down blanket on top and her own pillar and she's been fine. She's had no trousers on at night time and that, and she's been warm as toast. Been not being a problem. Been, she's loved it. She really has loved it. Yeah, I have. So that's it then. So when it gets decent weather again, we'll be I'm at camping. And to be fair, when in van, don't get me wrong, I love being in van. I think it's great in van. I really do like it when we go out with lads and that lot. But this is proper camping to me. If you know what I mean? It's you are camping when it's like this. We've got the table that people can obviously. <laughs> you got. To, table and your little cookers there and everything and you've got your chairs and you're all covered off for wind and everything like that this is definitely proper camping but anyhow so that's about it for this one guys we're going to pack up in a bit and uh, uh, head home i've got to head home we've only got about eight minutes to go <laughs> so <Sorry>, not that bad <laughs> but uh, yeah it's been really good and i'm really glad michelle's enjoyed it like i said i'm a bit skeptical first off whether she would or not you know i'm sleep because some people can't take to hammocks you know what i mean they just can't take to them but i've always loved hammocks i prefer hammocks than what i do sleeping on the floor and i'm a bit, a bit worried that she weren't going to take to it like but she absolutely loves it which is brilliant for me and also when i can go out i'm making she can come out with me like so that's great so right guys thanks for watching and uh, uh i put a link below for that one wind hammock I've, uh, well, you probably might see the video later on, uh, and that's that's a game changer for me to be honest. You'll see the video; it's absolutely out in this world. It never moves. It's fantastic to be honest. One of the best hammocks I've ever had in my life. So, and I've been doing it since like right, been 13, 14 years. I've been doing it. So, right, guys, say bye bye. Bye. Catch you all later, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Bye for now.